In this episode, we discuss uh, the second story in the collection of short stories, a silent song called Incident in the Park. This particular story is written by Kenyan author Meja Mwangi. The main focus in this story is um, the idleness of city dwellers in a certain city park. So Meja Mwangi paints a grim picture of a park infested by idolers. Sadly, the story ends when an innocent fruit seller is stoned to death by a mob in a case of mistaken identity. The story opens with a gloomy description of the park. We meet some idlers who waste hours on end just sleeping in the park. Most of them do not even pay heed to the clocks and they would rather just loll or lull all day doing nothing. At lunchtime, we see office workers come out of their offices and look for lunch while the idlers will just sit there and watch them. Basically, among the idle men, we have a fruit seller just lying under some tree, taking stock of his cells, mumbling and cursing, covering his face with his bony hands, lounging during lunch break, probably because he is too broke to afford a meal. More idle men sit by the lake watching other men paddling hard boats. The park is poorly maintained. There's a pond that's choking with ugly weeds. And there's a man that defies the order not to fish, feed the fish, but he goes ahead and throws rubbish into the water, feeding the fish. Since he's idle, what do you expect? He starts talking to a fellow idler about how fish are just like people. The big fish bully the small fish as they compete for food. Uh, we also see some ice cream sellers desperately trying to sell their ice cream, but nobody bothers, nobody cares, nobody wants to buy that. Uh, later, we also meet uh, constables, city Oscaris, who confront the fruit seller concerning his license and ID. The man tries to bribe them with the uh, money, even giving them the fruits he's stock, but they refuse, they would hear none of it. When they remain steadfast, he decides to run for it. Uh, sadly, he's accosted by a mob who mistake him for a thief and then they stone him to death. They judge him based on his dirty torn clothes and a mean hungry face. They claim that this is the uniform of his trade. When the police come to collect his body, no one is willing to divulge any information about the incident and about how the poor man meets his untimely death. The two loungers who are talking about fish also witness the whole spectacle and they go back uh, to continue idling in the park. And once again, the park is tranquil and peaceful like before, as if nothing had happened and yet somebody had just lost his life. And that is how unfair life is, especially for the small fish. Uh, we have some new ones that uh, you can uh, look up. While at it, consider following me on Twitter. Uh, my handle is Wafula Wekati. I'm also on Facebook as Wafula Wekati. If you like this content, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. You can read about this and many other stories on my blog wekati.blogspot.com i'm going to leave a link in the description so you can easily click and access my blog thanks for watching you can also watch the other videos that i've made for you and feel free to suggest if you need us to make any other content. Have a good one.